Okay, where we're going is, uh, we're still in Makaha, where they're going to be evicting people, but they've started early. And from what we're seeing, they're tearing portions of the camp and items apart with a bulldozer already ahead of time. And dumping it on the side of the road and blaming the houses here for all the dump sites. Uh, we just seen a, an officer walk up, giving some trouble and trying to find out what was going on himself. But uh, we're gonna find out from them what they got to say about this. So here you go. Take a You know, fishers right, you know, maritime law and everything else, all they have to do is throw out a fishing pole and they're allowed to be by the, the sea. So they're right in the middle of the sea and if they do it, you can fix it. Yeah, exactly. So, so why is this going you know, why why is the eviction going on? And uh we're uh we just happened to have been walking up and we seen the officer up there as garbage was being dumped on the road, which is illegal in itself, you know? You know, we can't have this garbage here, of course, yeah. but we can't be dumping on this, the city, because right now all those people are waking out because they're, you know, the trouble that they're seeing, you know, and they're getting blamed for the mess. Well, who else is going to dump that stuff there? All right, well... Well, they didn't. <laughs> they didn't dump it there. Yeah. And no, it wasn't us who put that part of them. Oh, yeah. So what? It wasn't us who put that part of them. That was the doctor before we even came. The poor thing he just picked up. I see him 100 feet out on the beach. It was already burnt down. He cleaned up this area. From where this pole is at, that's just how far it was. The robber's dump was right over here. In that moment, he lived in the bush of his one area. He was already dumping. It wasn't only one of the people. Right. Not all of us are here. Right. You know, we clean up our most of us, some of us, and there's some people who don't even want to talk. Right. You know, so we got no consideration, we have to travel behind us, but we do. Well, you guys are legally able to be here. No, I can. I'm a native client, yeah. and I can go and gather. 
I gather from the ocean, I gather from my soul, I gather from the mana, I gather from the mountain. Now when I go into the water, he say with me, I can't avoid no issue. He goes and he goes fishing. He goes and he goes to the Finally, come to the mountain, he goes. You know? And I was raised up in that house. Why can't I have every right? Right. But what does the city told you? Have they come up and tagged or? Oh, they, any... came, they came up and I told my old man, can you come with me or not? He told me, I'll do I'm going to move on. I'm going to change my life. And I'm not going to stay, going to stay here like how everybody else has. Right. You know, and one of the girls said, oh, you guys got to move up. And so I complaining. You know, I'm so, my old man is a sweet. Right. Yeah. They, they appreciated what we did because we gave them more space. That's the people who's going to be hurting too, because they cannot come in and go serve. This is the private school. Right. You know, and I'm ready for my change. On Monday at 4 o'clock, I'm going into a victory outreach. You know, I set my mind to it, and with the grace of God and the um, volunteers who come in out and helping some of the people, you know, we get plenty of ministries that come out and help. Thank God for a new hope, Leeward, West Shore. They come practically every Sunday and they hold services. They feed the people after service. The last um, Sunday of the month, they have um, food donations, they have clothing donations, whatever that is donated to them, they bring it out here. You know, and with their help, when I first came, it was October last year and they had church that day. I didn't go to church. But I seen the congregation, the church members going in for prayer for closing after they break down. So I'm walking to one of the brothers and said, Oh yeah, I need help. And he goes, Well what kind of help? I was first and foremost, I need prayers. I need guidance. You know, um, my old man was living here like last year, June, when he went to go out work, go try to go work and better ourselves so we can get out of here. I was staying with a friend on Lahaina Street. When he left for like nine, ten days, he came back, they stole everything that we had, so we had to start over again. And when I went and asked for help, the first thing I asked was for prayers and household goods. They came and helped, you know, and today, They've been there for me. Great life uh, ministry from Waipahu, Word of Life, New Hope, the Voice of the Believers, um, Raspity. They come and they help the people. I'll tell you one person that uh, the um, program that should be and supposed to be helping us, but really they're not, is uh, Why Not Outreach, Community Outreach. They don't come and help. They fall to find their job. I know because they went, I went in for the shelter. The day they were supposed to come and pick me up, I had a doctor's appointment. Okay? They came and took me to my doctor. So before I jumped out of the van, I asked her, So, so they didn't come pick me up after my doctor's appointment. So I can go in. And her and the partner just looked at each other and didn't say nothing. That was on the Monday. Tuesday came, they never came. Wednesday came, me and my old man got into an argument. I grabbed my purse and I was like, well, I'm not screw this. I'm not going to fight with you. You know what? And when they come, you tell them I said, fuck them. Because when somebody needed the help, they, I went and reached out to them. And when they said they're going to come pick me up, they now come with me. Bring me ministry books that couldn't help me, you know, and 
I've been reading that. There's days where I just stand up for four or five hours just reading, 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 reading. And I've been getting up. I've been getting help. And I told them they had a fire out. And if anybody needs help moving, they can help you move into a shelter, into a program, into a house. But not from here. You go down the street. come here and say we can get you off the street we'll get you in a place that's affordable your own place not a shelter you know we can help you locate a job that you want to do that you want to do not what they want to make you do something that you would want to do would you do something like that with me i have emotional problems i have depression okay you know so i feel that i need to go pick me first i put myself in a program if they offer that, we can take it. Oh yes, oh hell yeah. Oh, hell See, yeah. That, and that's what we're trying yes. to. That's what we're trying to tell people. Yes. A lot of people on this island don't believe the city is doing this to you guys. Yes. They want to make people believe that the houseless is drug addicts, uh, yes. alcoholics, degenerates, illegals. They want to paint a bad picture. And okay. there's a lot of people that. It's not. It, right. They it's just not. exactly. They just need hard time. Like me. They don't want to hand out, they want to hand out. Yeah. Find a better job. Exactly. Find help to get into that place. Yes. Find something to help them physically or mentally, whatever they exactly. actually need. But they're going to have to want to do this. Right. They're going to have to be ready and put this help up. Right. Two good ones, like how I am. I'm not the only one. Right. Oh, you we know? found a whole bunch of people. They're yes. saying this. They'll yes. take it if they offer it. Yes. But they're refusing to even offer it. They just yes. want to push you around. They want to put us in a shelter, and shelters don't work for everyone. Oh, well, no. You got no. Uh, you got a lot of rules. You got you have uh, disease, violence, theft, and you have to pay money to sleep on a mat exactly. with 500 other people. Yes. You know, yes. that's wrong. And the one on white night, it looks like prison. I've been in prison before. I don't want to go back. Right. I did my time. You know, I paid my dues. It was 20, 21 years ago, my crime was. I've been out of prison for 15 years. Off for probation for 11 years. Not one time did I get another okay, record. Okay. Right. If I did, it was for illegal camping. Right. Yeah. You know, it, 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 illegal camping. It's because stupid, I was stuck on laws. the side of the road. Stupid laws that they put yeah. you in to be in violation of. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm not violated. Well, only the city I am. Right. You know, but that's Well, this is really it. your land anyhow. This is this is Hawaiian lands that was in trustee of the state. Yes. And the state yes. is not honoring what the Hawaiians allowed okay. them to do with it. But then they do this to the Micronesians. They get more rights than us. Yeah. They get more benefits than us. How about us native people? Well, the Born, mic- raised, and get shit. Right. You know, yeah. we get shit on. Well, everybody, everybody as a yeah. whole should be treated equally. Everybody. It, exactly. Yeah, everybody. Because we all bleed. Right. Yeah. yeah. You know, I mean, it's it doesn't matter what race or what where you're from. Exactly. It, what matters is humanity, and everybody should be treated on the same playing field. Yes. The and same who level. who are you to judge me? Right. Only God can judge me. Exactly. 
<laughs> Only judge can um, judge me, you know, and that's why I'll be living by learning about the Lord and He's been providing and He's been helping and like they say, asking ye shall receive. I've been asking and what, I'll be receiving. What about these individuals that's cleaning us up? They're trying to say they're trying to help you out. Yes, but they are. But, but at the same time, it looks like they're they're throwing stuff out in the street and making it look worse for you guys. They're not cleaning they're gonna it up. They're going to dump it. Well, that's what they they're say, but they're it. not right yeah. now. The police have come by complaining, wow. and they're leaving it. So that, we're, we're kind of watching that on what's going on. I mean, wow. But like I say, and I told them, um, I appreciate them, you know. Well, yeah, they're doing a job, and they're doing it because for the benefit. Before we even moved here, this place was a dump. Right. You know, and where did all these robbers come from? Society. People who live in the house. You know, so don't put the blame only on us because we don't have a house, we don't have a job. There's, there's, there, there's a reason. There's reasons behind we, we're here. You know, right. and everybody has their own story. Everybody has situations. Everybody have downtimes. And this week, a lot of people been under so much stress because they have no way out of here. They have nowhere to go. Whoever. I don't give a shit what they say, right. you know, because I know what is best for me. You know, you don't, so don't be labeling us. Because if you call us drug addicts, drug dealers, but to go knock on your neighbor's house. Right. Because where does motherfucking drugs coming from? Right. Hello. Not right. down here. We're not creating it. We ain't moving it. Right. We're using it. <laughs> and you know what? And that we use some of the drugs that they do have helps us put our mind out of the situation that we're living in right now. I'm a marijuana smoker. Why? Okay. I went quit two months ago just so I can get into a shelter or into a home or into a program. You know, and I love. And I use that for my depression. It helps lift me up. Zoloft did it. Lexapro did it. And I ain't taking no more medication. Why? That's drugs. Right. Man made them, and man made them for you to screw up. Well, they made it for a profit. Yeah, yeah. yeah the pharmaceuticals. <laughs> right. right. It's a profit. Yeah. It's a profit. Exactly. It's a profit because scheme. that's the money. Yep. But then the doctors are involved because they're prescribing you something that you shouldn't be taking. It made me homicidal, suicidal. I want to kill my own man and then jump over the railing on Zola. Yeah. The doctor that prescribed it to me, you know how long I got seeing him? Hmm. Two and a half damn minutes. And then he sent me um, interns who didn't know me. Yeah. So one year, me and my sister went. I was coming with me. I need your help. Do you mind? Oh, yeah, go ahead. Can I have one too? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I told my sister, come with me. Right. Mm -hmm. I need your help. She goes, what? All I see is these doctors really know me. Well, you know that the doctor didn't come and see me? He sent an intern, my sister, and um, we were laughing in the examining room. So I was, you get up on top there, the examining table, and I'll sit in a chair. Right. And she said, you're crazy. I was, no, I just like to see if they know who the patient is. And her and I laughed. She goes, you know what? They're going to really lock you up. I was, no, sister, they're not going to lock me up. They're going to lock you up for portraying a mental, uh, kind of uh, depression or person. You're going to go inside, not me. <laughs> And when the nurse came in, they called us for our last name. Miss Ka'au and both of us answered, yes. Oh, how are you doing? We both said, we're doing fine. Started giving questions. The first person that they looked at, or they didn't even ask who was the patient, looked at the examining table. Mm -hmm. Thought said, you tell them who you want, whatever you want. You just stay along, you know. Well, I had one question. Well, well like 20 questions going by my sister's getting. Um, one person that she couldn't answer, and she's looking at me like And I'm looking at her. And I get smiling inside, I'm laughing and laughing. And she goes, I goes, you know what? Um, you came in here assuming that she was your patient. Well, I'll tell you something. She's not your patient. She came to support me. I am the patient. But all you did was direct your attention to who was on the examining table. Right there, you screw up with the doctor. Mm 
the doctor came and I was, and you guys prescribed me Zola, I mean Zoloft to continue and continue and continue. You didn't even know how good I was doing on the medication. You didn't even know. I had the side effect that was the worst side effect that you could even get. I couldn't concentrate. I couldn't finish um, a task. I couldn't, you know, if I started something, wouldn't finish, and I had projects all around. And my mom was like, what the hell is wrong with you? I'm not done with that. What are you gonna do? I don't know yet, but I'm not done with that. Starting something else, starting something else, starting. Never finished anything got into fights, I got violent, right. and then the doctor came in, and then he said, oh, um, I was, you know what, save it, and I was out of there, never went back to the doctor ever again. Wow. So what would you like to see the city actually be for everyone? What, what would you think would be I, helpful I, for all of, for the community that's here? A program that could fit people, you know, help them gain their self-esteem, help them through their drug addiction. You can't just cut them off like that. Right. You know, let them slowly wing it, you know, and let them work for their housing, you know, make programs to where we have job training. My idea was at the uh, resort up there. Right up there, there's so many jobs that people can work and learn. You get culinary arts, you get hotel management, you get um, groundskeepers, you get um, plumbers, electricians. Exactly. You know, yeah. and have schooling for the trade that you want to be in. Right. You know, at least two hours, hour and a half. Teach them who don't know how to read, how to read. Well, that's similar to what I was thinking. I mean, the city you know? could very well say, we will guarantee you employ employees. You know, if you'll hire these people, and you can have them at a subsidized rate, and if they, if the government, say, city of Honolulu, provides you a place that's affordable with the income that you're making, not affordable in their minds, not affordable to what is the but, average of Hawaii, but affordable but the cost to you, of living. right? But if it's affordable to you with what you actually make Letters, while you're okay. while you're training for a job, exactly. You know, I have childcare there. Get a job. Get a house move on, have that kind of program that if they can qualify for a better job at what they're going to be doing, let them join the union. Let them move on. Right. And not just the homeless people, but the new releases from jail, they need chances. They're going to be discouraged because society ain't going to hire them. I know this for a fact because I'm an ex-con. You know, they need help just as much as everybody else. They need help more than the Micronesians. That's going to keep them out of jail. That's going to keep them off probation, not put them right back. Because if you got nothing for them when they come out, just tell them, okay, go. You know, the 7-Eleven didn't hire me because why? I was convicted of a felony. I passed the test. I did everything that they needed three times. Did they hire me? I qualified, right. but because I would be honest and I check, yes, I'm a, a kind of felon. I, I didn't get fired. Yeah, and that's where the city, the city should be stepping in, or the state even, you know, step and in like and say, okay. If we paid our dues to society, to the crimes that we did, why are we still being punished again? Right. That, isn't that double jeopardy? Right. Right. See, some of us, we know the law, and some of us don't. But the people down here, what we do not know is our rights. Right. Yeah. Past life is past life. What's now yes. is now. Yeah. We, we're going to live from here today to whenever he comes and get us. I mean, you understand. I mean, it, 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 you, you can't expect people to give you handouts no, for no. everything, but if you're willing to work and you're willing to show and prove exactly. yourself yeah. within society and, yeah. and, and be productive and... and meet what any normal human being would want, meet their own basic needs yeah. freely themselves and yeah. do it on their own. Yeah. Yeah, I don't see what the harm we is. We get people who come out with food banks. If I can afford my food, I'm not going to go and get free handouts. Right. They're for people who need it. If I need, I will go get. You know that I never shop for food, kangaroos, for like almost three months because I get enough here. There you go. And if people is hungry, 
No need to steal from me. I'll give it to you. Right. Well, the, a lot of individuals believe that way here. Yeah. A lot of people are helping you know. each other out here. And even we have preschools for the children. They always come and help the children. But, you know, I just think, because that's my opinion, that's my life I live in, they will change. Right. But it depends on the individual themselves. Yep. Exactly. You know, but if there was programs that could help them, you know, not being locked down, because um, some programs you go, you, I've been, and my own man been to NA meetings, AA meetings, I've been since I came home from prison every now and then, that we go to the meetings, all you do is talk about drugs, what do you think I like to do after? Go do drugs, because that's all we talked about. Right. Can we like try stop and get that out of my mind? That's what we're trying to do, get the drug part out of our mind. But then they're enforcing it into us. They think it's helping us, but reality, it just makes us want to go back and do some more drugs. Right, 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 you know? I hear you. You know, like they say. No, I'm not gonna put you in. Out of sight, out of mind. People, places, and things change us. I believe that. But you're going to have to do it on yourself. You're going to have to want to get help. It's a good message. You know, you're going to have to do it. And it's not going to be, re they're not going to be ready until they are ready. Not when the city said they are. Not when uh, the society said they are. When they're ready, they will. You know, and we, a lot of us, do it just to get ourselves out of here. And another way I get myself out of here is I read. And when I read, I'm into that book. I'd be all over the world. Right. You know? So that's how I escape from being here. You know? So. Well, we're going to get the message out, and uh, we're trying to get some support for you guys while Thank this you. is going on and uh, get so some much. people out here to hopefully help. You yeah. know, and, uh, and real hope. Not, not, lock, not, not, not this lock them down. Right. You know, right. because not why are you going to get your federal fund? Fuck the federal fund. Think about the people who need the help. Right. That's, yeah, that's why is. we're at Thomas Square. If, if you've heard about us, uh, we're, we're with Occupy Honolulu. And uh, we have an encampment that's right downtown, right next to the police, city council, and the Capitol. And we've been fighting them for over 160 days now doing the same thing, fighting them. And uh, we've, we've got a successful encampment that's going that they haven't been able to push out yet. And uh, uh, we're just trying to get the message out to everybody else. This is not just local, uh, as yeah, in Honolulu. Right. This is worldwide. This worldwide. is all over the island. This yeah. is, uh, people are getting pushed around all over with no yeah. choice and no help. Yeah. You know, they so want to, they want to facilitate people... the thought of help, but they're not no, giving it. No, because the thought of helping gets them the federal funding. Right. And every person they take into their shelters, they got a check for that. Right. For right. Each individual. Right. Don't think I stupid. Right. I know this. Exactly. Well, oh, you're exa you're exactly right. And they're charging people to be there on top of it. Exactly. You so, know. Victory Ohana is the one place that accepted us or is waiting for us to come in. Well, I made that in. I got my foot in that door. Right. And you know what? That is free. There you go. There you go. And that is free. And they help. They're gonna help me with my spiritual, my emotional, my mental. You know, my physical. And that's exactly what I need. I'm not the only one. I know there's people out there who has all those needs too. And but then they're ashamed. Right. Because but you can't you're blame labeled. Them. Right. You labeled. Right. No label something that you never produce. Right. Exactly. You know? Because <clears throat> so when you throw negative to people, no matter where they come from, what you know, walk of earth they come from, what their situation is, that's the kind of response you're gonna get back is negative. Right. You know, one plus one is two. I like positive, because I'm going to get more. <laughs> <laughs> but when you try to deal with plus zero, you can get zero. Yeah. Exactly. Right. You know, it's just math. Yeah. You know, so, and that's my feeling. That's my opinion. 
and everybody has their own opinion, everybody has their own story. Right. You know, and if you ask more people, they will tell you their situation. Yeah. Well, that's what we're doing. You know, we're we're going down. Situation. We're we're making ourselves available. We don't want to intrude on anybody. Yeah. We don't if want. They're willing. They will. Right. Right. Yeah. And that, and that's what we're doing. We're just announcing that we're here. And some of them cannot have children, so they adopt. They start with a puppy, and their family starts growing. That's their family. That's their baby. It's their dogs. Right. They have no place to take them. Some houses don't accept animals. Right, exactly. Well, I have that problem yeah. myself. I, I have you a know? dog in. Yeah. Yeah. So. And our dogs here go to church. And they have their meal. <laughs> 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 and they're accepted. <laughs> there you go. So New Hope is helping and trying to find um, places and homes so that they can feel, uh, have a, uh, what do you call that? Facilities for dogs and humans. And they're not the only help that we get out here. A lot of the clean and sober come. Right. A lot of ministries from our own dog. I, you know, and they help. And that lifts up the people. They had barbecue here though, last last weekend. Yeah. Just before Easter, yeah. Yeah, there you go. You know, yeah. and they come and Christmas time, they came and gave children. Uh, we had a whole container for the children. Wow. You know? And even if I didn't have one, I asked if I could get for my grandchildren. There you go. They said, yeah. So I took for my grandchildren. My girlfriend wasn't home. I got for her grandchildren. And I put it in her van. And she wasn't worried how that came. I was, knew you wasn't home. And I knew how you was feeling. you depressed and you can't give your grandchildren nothing. Well, I feel the same way too. But you know what? I don't know how many grandchildren you get. But me and Naomi went put some inside your car for you, for you. So that you can go and give your grandchildren this. And she looked at me, she goes, thank you, Auntie. I was worried about that. I was, yeah, I know. I know. I know how it is, you know. So, yeah, we do have problems. Don't everybody else? Right. Yeah. We're all human. Exactly. You know, we get our opinion. Everybody else do. Yeah. And not everybody wants to handle. Right. They want to earn it. They want to earn respect. You know, and respect is earned, not given, not paid for. You know, so, and you get hit in the face one time, what the Lord said, turn the other cheek, slap me on the other side. And I have, you know, so, how many more times am I going to get slapped? Well, I hope everything, <clears throat> I hope everything works out for you with what you I said. am, it is, it's happening, it's happening I on hope Monday. It, I hope so. I, hope I just that. meet one of the, um, the, Workers is going to come up from Big Victory Outreach for women. It's a new facility that coming out. I called them. I had one of the church members, if I could use their phone for a message. The church member got a message for me, came straight here and delivered me. And okay. he's been, they've been supporting me um, spiritually, and it's been great. You know, That's awesome. You know, I wanted to change, and I'm changing, and my life is starting to be better. You know, but like I say, it starts with you. Yeah. It starts with me. I cannot change my own man. Right. I gotta change that person. I cannot change nobody. They gotta do it on their own. But right. I can give advices. I can give them like information. You know had this girl, Dana, she needs to get in a shelter. I said, sister, I know you need to go into the shelter, I mean, to a program. And I know you can't go by yourself. How about we go in together, we go do the body system. There you go. If you got somebody else there with you who's willing to go and want to change, and you have to change, you know, well, help I, can each be, other I, can, along. I can be your buddy. Yeah, help each other along. You know, we can encourage each other. There you go. You know, and she's thinking about it. You know, but she has a child. And well, I that's have. the whole point of like yeah. this encampment here is, I mean, it's a big, it's its own community, and you know, and the community has to help and each it other. it did need to be cleaned up. Right. You know, yeah, it did need to be cleaned up. So. Yeah, but pinpointing it and making it shown, or trying to give the image that it's all you, that's wrong. Yeah, that is. You know, that's yeah, wrong. That is. And, and by them dumping it out and leaving it there on the roadside for everybody to see, to place the blame even more so on you guys, it makes it even worse. You know, they need to clean it up and do a better means of it. I, 
I appreciate them wanting to clean it up, like just like everybody else here. But the manner in which they're doing it, they're, it, it's a tactic that's used by the city to show that oh, there's more of a reason why we need to clean this camp out, and, and because they're they're dirty, and that's not the case. No, that, that's not, not the case. Not everyone. You know, there are some. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna be truthful. Yeah, there are some Kapulu people. But not everybody. Yeah, but see, that should be held on an individual basis, not yeah, a, not as as a, a whole, whole group, right? A community, right? Yeah, because my area, that was right. already there, right? You know, and whatever rubbish was around, I picked it up and I threw it on the ground because I knew it was gonna come and get that. Whatever was on the beach, we cleaned it out. We took it and put it over here because there was a dump there already. And the grace of God, these people came and volunteered, and I showed them. Well, that's a good thing that they're that they're wanting to come yeah. out and help. That's yeah. definitely. That's definitely good. It was good. worse. Yeah. It was worse. My woman cut some trees and cleared this space up so that we wouldn't be in the way of the public, the surfers, the beach goers that come through here. Right. They made enough room so that more than can come in here and park. And we stay out of the way. Right. You know, right. We even made a canopy out there. And if you want to.